here are the top three extraterrestrial sightings. Coming in at number one, we have Different Cartman. Different Cartman was seen all over the country going to different stores and buying different items. Coming in at number two, we have two different aliens. These two aliens went to a barbecue and apparently ate all of the food. And coming in at number one, it's Mr. Carrots. Mr. Carrots went onto TV and shapeshifted mine on the air. When he went on the air, he told the newscaster he was completely allergic to carrots. Podcast about list. Yeah, I'm your host. You had Caleb potatoes yep. and peas for lunch. I had it's just called the combination it's called beasties and uh, potatoes and peas. Potatoes and peas. It's a Jamaican dish called potatoes and peas. Combination. Rice. You're thinking of rice and peas. That's a Jamaican rice dish. and peas. Yes. Rice and peas. Potatoes and peas is the Jamaican Irish dish, which is the same thing. Which man. could be. They have a lot of fire. parallels in their culture. I've heard. Yes, they both Daggering. live on the isle. <laughs> they both live in Ireland. <laughs> they lo- both live on the island. You, you, when Ireland. you, went down, when you, you went got to Ireland, you go to County Cork. They're just daggering. Did the you see shit a bunch of, of daggering in Ireland? Old Most Irish everybody women. was playing steel drums when and I went. daggering yeah. each other. Yeah, and that was shooting their butts with maximum Except velocity. It's illegal to uh, play Rasta music. Really, in Ireland. really, there's a law against it. You know, there's a. You can't uh, play any music that has more than one instrument, and the voice counts as an instrument. There oh, is an God. interview with Morrissey from the '80s where they asked him um, if Rubber Ring was uh, inspired by like dub songs or whatever, and he said that. Is reggae, Rubber Ring a condom song? Rubber Ring is like it's the there's like yeah, I don't know. It kind of sounds they're like oh it kind of sounds like a, a reggae song, and he said no reggae is the most black supremacist music. I've Interesting. Ever what is the thing with I've never understood the Morrissey <laughs> love. I you, don't give a fuck about his music at all. Yeah, well, I mean, you I think that most of people you who like Morrissey like 15. just like that he's racist. You weren't like yeah. 15 when you first heard like the Back when you were racist anything. when you are 15, you, yeah. really, you really connect with the lyrics. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't know how racist he was until like later. But he's also gay? Yeah. And he's sad, too. He's a big queen. I guess, the, I guess to be, I guess to be a singer who's racist and, and is always sad is better than being really happy about being racist. Yeah. Yeah, this and being is being racist and being like Morris, I'm he's, the best. He's I'm full of balance, I think, in that regard. Morrissey's almost a, a a cautionary tale to the racist. Yeah. yeah, if you're racist, you could be a millionaire, but who, but maybe gonna, you'll have to be a millionaire about frowning. Uh-huh. Yes, you'll have to make songs about how many frown. What does his song sound like? A million frowns. I think was the name of one of his songs. <laughs> What's what? What was his band that he did? The Smiths. His name is Morrissey Smith? No, his name is Smith Stephen and Patrick and Morrissey. Morrissey. Stephen Patrick? Yeah. Uh-huh. Irish. Irish Blood, English Heart was well, another one of his songs that came out in 2004. What does that mean, Irish Blood, English Heart? The song is about how he was born in Ireland, but, but he gay. loves England so much. He loves England? Yeah, he's a weird character, this guy. <laughs> he does say, okay, now he's I'm a weird to understand freak. the obsession with him. And he yeah. dresses in trench coats? Yep. Pretty much. But he also doesn't wear a shirt. He doesn't wear a shirt, and then he swings flowers around on stage. Did he Pretty used gay. to be skinny, and now he's fat? Or was he, he was, just always kind of fat and He was very, old? very, very thin. You're the one for me, fatty. That's a good song. Oh, God. He has That's the a really worst, funny song. worst kind of Irish body. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he looks kind of exactly like my father. Yeah. Those, like, really skinny arms and just the giant... No, my dad's... My dad's... He's, Look at that. Know, the my dad skinny works arms, out his arms and the giant and torso. Pat, I'm going to be honest. This is where you're headed. Yeah? Yeah, this is a skater body. A skater body? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's clearly a skater. I don't think he looks terrible. Why is he, he looks fucking terrible. Are you crazy? <laughs> he just looks Is he fat. milking himself in this yeah, picture? Yeah, he's milking himself. For what? As a statement? of Is he bleeding onto his hand or is that he the shadow of his microphone? He is milking himself because he's so anti-milk and he's vegan. 
And he's so anti-milk that he would rather have his own body be milked. He wants that to be a pro cow. pro milk. Yeah. That sounds like a no, milk it's, it's position. Pro I want man more milk, milk to So be you're made. saying he's jealous of the cows. He's and that's jealous why of the cows to be able to be having milk. Yes. I do think it would feel pretty good to get milked. Yeah. Well, look what he's doing right there. I don't know. It depends on if you have milk ready to go or if your body doesn't have milk, it's probably going to feel like when you get blood drawn and you run out. Yeah. It's going to hurt pretty bad where your body's kind of grasping at straws mm. saying, I know that, oh, I know that milk needs to come out, but there's none ready. So you're saying it's like, oh, I'm, I'm dry. Yeah. It's like trying to force. I think that's what he's saying. There. Milk out of him. You I think know? he's saying I'm dry and I'm sad because I'm dry. I don't have any milk to give you. Uh-huh. My this person. Fans. <laughs> This person on X said they Googled why is Morrissey fat. And they came upon this horror. It's not hor- that much not of a horror. Not necessarily horror. Yeah. I don't if they, love Bro, it. if this is a horror to you, you should check out A24 yeah. and Bloomhouse. You should maybe try <laughs> on Ari Aster flick. Yeah. Because uh, what's more horrific than your own family? Yeah, yeah. your mom. We, we should... Uh, <laughs> what's scarier than your own mom? That, every Ari Aster movie is what if your friends or your family had the ability to be odd to you or what if you went on vacay or what if you went on a fire ass vacation what if your vacation took a left turn (laughs) did you guys ever watch the (laughs) that's what that movie's about you ever watch his directorial debut his short uh, something we talked about that one yeah yeah Yeah. something's up with the johnsons or not that funny man listen man i just can't get into that kind of stuff it's a, that's a movie about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if that's if that's your th- if that's the way you swing, that's fine. You know, I'm not the kind of I'm not going to come into your house and tell you what to do. But but that, that type of thing, it's just typically it not just for me. Doesn't do it for except me. in the rarest of cases. <laughs> 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 that's uh, a movie um keeping up it's not keeping up with the something johnsons about the there's Johnson. something about the johnsons it's a movie about a, a child molesting his own dad yeah it's kind of a reverse movie yeah it's kind of a fish and water <laughs> story <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of the ultimate fish out of water. Uh, an unlikely hero. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, buddy. What's so confusing to me about that movie? Why go for your dad? Yeah, dude, mom. You got a perfect good mom. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't make a lot of oh, sense, man. That's not right. Well, that's what's so that terrifying right. about it. Yeah, is that this kid is this kid is so weird. Buddy, wait till you have kids. Yeah, yeah. you're this in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get all the molesting done. Come on, man. Yeah, wait till it, you got a nephew, man. This is about a a, a you're somebody jumping who the gun. Is, I mean, he's is a mold breaker. Yeah, yeah. you know. Youngest to do it. Not only is he trying to molest his parents, but he picks the weirdest one. He to picks the weird, and his dad is a weird guy in the movie, is well, he, which is, is a standard make, character I mean, for Ari Aster. That would make you weird too. I think. What if, if your, your dad son, was weird? If your son was son straight was, up yeah. getting up in your stuff? Yeah. Well, he does. He acts weird I'd as hell in that it. movie. I'd probably be the family man, and I'd handle it. How many times have we talked about this movie on the show? I don't know if we ever have. Yeah, it's a bit risque, and we don't typically cover don't that. No, really I mean, blue. as soon as the 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 video started getting bluer, I think our material has as well. Oh God! Yeah, I like the blue video. I do like the blue video, but do you think we could t- tone it down with the blue material? Do you think it? Oh, you're the one who. Br- uh, no, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> but you're didn't. the one who called it blue. But you're the one who was talking about blueness. Yeah, blue. Well, we can go blueish, but I don't think we can go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to dive head first. You want to go straight blue? Yeah, I, mean, I, the, I like every, into the every damn, once in a while. You want to become completely blue? Are you mad? <laughs> every Are once you in mad, a while, we, we do something really <laughs> disgusting, and I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We, it weeds out the people, on people who like yeah. normal stuff. Weeds out the weak. We the don't like. We don't. Something about us is a little. Uh, how do I say? A little offensive to normies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if we haven't done a big disguster in a while though? Stinky shit. Yeah, we, haven't, we haven't. You know, uh, touched upon eating poop. Touched well, I guess yeah. You know, now that I think about it, it's not so gross to molest your dad. <laughs> it's just wrong. You don't think it's a little... I mean, it depends on the dad, I guess. It depends, I, I depends thinking, on the situation of how you do it, but it's not that gross. N- I mean, it, it's just... It's maybe morally repugnant, but, you know, it, it's just sex. Well, it doesn't say anything <laughs> about this in the Bible. But if your dad is really I'm very... I'm positive a son molested their dad in the Bible. 
Yeah. It's not up on the... I'm absolutely positive The Old happened. Testament, that is an Old Testament story, yeah. and the moral is supposed is to be like, true. don't molest your dad. <laughs> Treat your parents with respect. <laughs> <laughs> listen to your parents. <laughs> Clean your room and listen to your parents. <laughs> I think they did a, there was a boy. There was a boy the named Zechariah. Zechariah, the most disobedient boy in all and of back, Jerusalem. In all of Jerusalem, they should and his do. Father Jod would John. would tell him to clean to clean the his uh, to sweep the part of the house where it's, it's so dusty, but all the they whole, had was sand floors. Yeah, the back whole then. thing's dust. And he's kidding. making his kid sweep so he's to get back. In his he molests him. This is not. This, in the Bible. Right. this is an Old Testament story. This, this is, isn't right. What we're talking about. No. This isn't right. If that no. was in the Old Testament story, they would have done a Veggie Tales about it with the asparagus son and dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I could honestly see a shot for shot recreation of there's something wrong about it. They would the completely Johnsons. they would do they would do uh they would like kind of do the Bible for kids thing and it would, they would make the entire story about the son was tickling his dad yeah. too much. Yeah. yeah. That was like, stop, you're making me laugh. Yeah. I'm laughing all over the place, son. Now, normally, Stop. a dad tickles the son. Yeah. But here, the son is getting tickles on tickle the dad. Is the tickle getting, monster. He's getting uh, points on the tickle board. And he has no interest in... in is that part of that movie what? where the son molests the dad and the dad's like, oh, my God, this is awful. My son's gay. <laughs> <laughs> is that in that movie? I don't think so. Yeah, it shouldn't be. You know what, son? I'm kicking you out. Yep. You better find your own apartment because <laughs> if you're gonna I've be touching me like that, you're gonna need a job. With me. Uh -huh. Okay, that's right. You're gonna pay rent. You're, you're gonna, gonna pay you, rent. You're gonna be paying rent, buddy. You want to do that stuff? You move to New York, where all the other <laughs> sons are molesting <laughs> the their dads. Dad molesters. Yeah, I'm sending my son to San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this movie. Why did he make this movie? Don't we have to talk about it all the time? Uh, he made the movie to be weird. He probably just wanted everyone to have deep conversations. But how do you, if you're, if, if you were, I mean, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I can tell you how I can't count how many times I've been, you know, in those classic plastic chairs uh -huh. sitting yep. around the fire pit <laughs> out of the cabin with my friends. So <laughs> you guys ever molested your dad? Yeah, and everyone goes. Deep thoughts. Everyone's smoking like, the weed. Smoking yeah. weed and then and like talking to your talking to yeah, your friends. Everyone, like, did you ever fight your dad? Oh yeah, I fought my dad. Yeah. So I have actually a, kind of a weird relationship with my dad right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After uh -huh. I graduated, I just started molesting. I just guys. got really sad after I graduated <laughs> and left the house. Ugh. But why would you make it's not your, right, man? Why would it's you make your right. first movie so disgustingly? Did he make that? Was that one of his weird. ones he made when he was in college? I, I think, think so, that was yeah. his like yeah, his like AFI project or something. Man, you can't film. make a movie like that until you are a dad. That's right. Why would you make that movie as a dad? You make that as a, you make that movie as a son. It's an admission of guilt. Exactly. Yeah. You make that movie <laughs> as a dad. It's a cry for. It's a attention cry for help. or help. This is why a only, a, only a girl should have been able to make this movie. That's true. That is kind of completely a, divorced from the, the problem. Whole is, yeah. Honestly, scenario. though, the pro you know what the problem is? If a girl had made that movie, it would have been erotic, steamy, and sexual. It would have been <laughs> a firefighter. The purpose son. of it would have been to titillate the a firefighter. Firefighter son. son and they literally girls CEO get off dad. on shit yeah. like that. That's girls, true. They like girls get off on the idea of a firefighter like just tying their shoe for them. I did recently find out that girls like guys kissing videos. Yeah, they, they like gay guys against each other or girls with each other fighting each. Other girls each like other. videos of guys <laughs> fighting. They like videos of like guys on like Sixth Street in Austin just beating the yeah. shit out of each other. Yeah, the Morgan Wallen concert yeah. fights. They oh like yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff. People fighting in the stands at at uh, Phillies games. Yeah, that kid at the Dallas Stars game who said the N word and then got. The shit kicked out of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they like, like that turns they, them on. They watch that stuff and they start jilling off like yep. crazy. They watch. They're sitting on the washing machine watching a, the <laughs> watching of, that video. Of that guy getting shot with paintball. Pellets. Speaking of jilling off, Cameron, pray tell. What was the funny? <laughs> <laughs> what was the What's funny? What was the funny pornography video title that you saw? And can we find it? I don't want to find it. Okay. Mm. He's nerd too afraid. Versus, nerd versus thug. And there was no victory, you said. I didn't watch it. There, Well, in a situation like that, I think I would hope that both people win. Well, I would hope that the nerd I wins. I think that it was one girl who was a girl, and then there was a nerd, and there was a thug. Okay. And, and who were we, boys. So she probably... She, so I think it was like who, do, who she does... She was probably positioning a nerd and a thug. She probably picked the thug, but the nerd should have won. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, the thug, well, the nerd would and win, that's the, coming win from the a thug, war. By the way, the nerd would win the war, but this battle between <laughs> the nerd mm. and the thug. Well, but it was a. I mean, it was probably he could have outsmarted the thug with his nerdly ways. But the thug knows about the you know, uh, art of shiatsu massage. <laughs> Oh, that was that, that would actually work. <laughs> and that's, that's actually true as fuck. That's actually half and he of also the knows, video is uh, the, he's also the got thug giving massage. Sp- sp- the nerd has Spider-Man-esque reflexes, though. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And maybe probably... And he got webs of nut. Uh-huh. Maybe pr- maybe the nerd had a bigger member. Yeah. yeah. It's always the nerds, man. The nerds got... <laughs> <laughs> it's always an unsuspecting nerd with a large member. <laughs> The unsuspecting nerd with the large member. Uh-huh. That was have, another video title. Do you guys have a large member? Do you guys have big members or small members? I don't even know what my member is. Me Honestly, I haven't seen it. In, in the scale of like... You said it's a scale? In the scale of like, uh, yeah, mine like has a average... Legend. Mine has a rainbow fish scale. Small to like large. I'm probably... Ad, I'd, wait, I'd say my goes member... Average to small to large. That's your scale? <laughs> the scale of members across the world. Uh-huh. I think that mine's easy. nothing to write home about. Okay, so you, th- <laughs> you think, think that maybe there are some that people are writing home about. I think that there Dear are some. Mother that and father, mother, I've had the most I'm, exquisite experience. I remember I saw this <laughs> evening was absolutely Godzilla. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Europe is treating me quite well, mother. <laughs> Martha, our daughter has seen one of the most Godzillian members of the state. I've met the most unsuspecting nerd. <laughs> With the largest member. His name since is Benjamin only, Franklin, she's since saying. Since having only coupled with thugs in my tenure as a lover. <laughs> my tenure as a lover. I've, now, I've found myself accustomed to the small. I'm now dabbling with the nerds. size of the male dinky. member. Dinky. Dinky <laughs> member. Dinky. A dinky member I've, I've saw. My word. Member. My word. Our daughter has, has, has oh, moved mother, on I've from seen dinky members. I've the most members. member. <laughs> She's oh, moved on. Stop. She's moved on completely from dinky members. <laughs> there were people back in the day. She throws the window open. She leans out. All the people walk around the street holding blows up. Right. I've seen the nerd with the largest <laughs> member. Oh, I can't hold it in any longer. When Hooray! I've been with a nerd. Huzzah! Did people back in the day before they had phones to shoot each other disgusting yeah. lewd images. Stinking. Well there were people who could draw real fast. But not drawing even where people Sculpture. were people just writing like Hello. Yes. The war continues. My penis is as big as a bullet, and, yeah. it's sh- and I wish that I could magnetize it to your mouth. They were taking daguerreotypes where you have to sit still for the photo for like three minutes straight, oh, or else yeah. it blurs. So they're jacking off in front of the camera, and then and they get the picture printed out. And it looks like they're the Flash, with their hands <laughs> blurred up and they're down sitting, on their they're thing, sitting completely still with <laughs> the blurriest, like, yeah. the blurriest, the blurriest hand ever. yeah. Which is why Japan does that just thing. <laughs> What is that about, man? Why do they still do that? I think it's That's a law over there that <laughs> yeah. more people have to be cartoon to be in a movie. You can see. Well, what? do they? <laughs> I think we're. Thinking, <laughs> I think we're thinking of different laws. No, when they blur the. They blur out bodies. all the all the junk. Yeah. That's a cartoon. <laughs> well, if you can show it in a cartoon. Can you show? A cartoon. Buddy, I've seen cartoons where they show it you all. I've seen tunes? cartoons you guys wouldn't believe. No, yeah. yeah. I've the seen thing a... about cartoons in Japan is cartoons over there are for adults. Uh huh. Doesn't make a lot of sense. No. I've seen this one cartoon over there that was uh, this kid and he's trying to collect all these Pokemon. What? Why can't I see their things in <laughs> Japan? Jubio <laughs> just searched. 20 things can't be seen anywhere but in Japan. Well, that's okay. why. Green Rabbit they named have... Miffy. They have stuff that you Pringles can see Pringles is a in noodle Japan. brand. Pringles is a noodle brand? Pringles is not a noodle brand. Stupid Google. What is consi- <laughs> Wait, what is considered disrespectful in Japan? Let's read okay. it. Pointing, pointing in public. Oh, wait, I just, you you're just pointing. pointed. Well, we're not oh in public. We're not in public. Yeah, we're in private. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah. But at what line does the... Uh, what point does the line between public and private blur in a podcast? Yeah. Uh, that's that's true. a really good point. We are technically outside. At what point do we... Do you guys think that we would fare well or v- in s- intensely poorly in Eastern nations? Like Eastern which ones? Yeah. Far East? Far East. Yeah. I mean, I think... Okay. Here's here's my, my rundown. I think I would do really well in China. Mm-hmm. 
I think I'd do pretty well China in Japan. China knows how to party. Not yeah. sure I'd do so well in Korea. Korea, I'd... Korea North and Korea, Japan North have Korea, a little bit. They're a little could, buttoned up. I could do North Korea. South Korea, I'm not so sure about. China would definitely be my most, my best performance yeah, as I a think, citizen. I do think you would be an amazing citizen. Yeah. I'd be really well, they good. would think... Ja- Japan, I, I mean, I do think... I think I'm kind of quiet and, and demure that I could adjust to public life in Japan and not... and Because you see, this a guy mm-hmm. like this, he has an outside voice. True. And yeah. that's not looked so kindly upon in Japan. No. Me, I'm more of... I'm, I'm, well, I'm it depends. Reserved. Hey. Hey, hello. Yeah, but I also, think but the main problem about Japan is I can't speak Japanese. The most, the most that I've that seen w- of Japan, really hard. it's a big barrier. The most I've seen of Japan is from uh, Jackass One. That's the going, most you've seen of Japan. I've not seen a lot of. I've seen maybe a few videos here and there, but the most I've seen of like people going out in public. You never seen Lost in Translation? No, I've really I haven't seen Me that. Neither. I've seen Jackass really? One. Great movie. Going off of what they did in that. Um, if I go there and I start shooting bottle rockets out of my ass and doing wasabi snooters and like running around in a panda yeah. suit, I think that that I could fare well if that's what you can, can do. Did you guys see that video? That video on X.com of the guy who's from Australia or something, and he goes to Japan. And you know, in Japan, they have um, they have subway cars that are women only. That yeah, only oh, women yeah. can be on. And he goes, he's like, <laughs> he's selfie filming, and he's like. They've got a, a car that's women only. What? And he goes into the car. He walks into the car and he's just videoing all the women. <laughs> and they're all like staring at it, just like staring at him. And he's like, well, yeah, it looks like it's all women. <laughs> he just walks around it for like 30 seconds and they're all just like staring him down. And then he just like, leaves. That oh, my awesome. God. It's really funny. I've seen a video of a dude, these two uh, Twitch like. IRL streamers. Oh, I saw that this week too. Got in their, they got their jaw slid and their phones broke. They got knocked out. They got knocked the fuck out. They, as soon, but the best part about that video is as soon as the the second guy gets punched, who's filming the other guy who's already on the ground, uh, he gets a donation. He so he gets a text to speech. So yeah. the, but the sound, like he gets clocked, and then as soon as he's like on the ground, you hear the Mario coin. <laughs> It's so good, and then so, and then the text to speech is somebody who just paid five dollars to write Hiroshima Nagasaki over and over and over again. So <laughs> oh, the guy's yeah. like knocked out on the ground, and it's like Hiroshima Nagasaki, oh Hiroshima God. Nagasaki. It's it's crazy, that's crazy. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. if I was over there, I would not be IRL streaming. You would have. That's you, all I, would I do. think that you would definitely be knocked out if you were in. A I would be knocked in out. Japan. Yeah. yeah. Why? Wait, no, you're the meekest one in public. What are we talking about? You and me no, are the no, crazies. No, 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 no. He's nothing. No, because yeah, I don't do n- he's anything nothing. But he's he's meek when they're when he's playing a prank. Mm. But if you're hanging out and you're having a good time, you're gonna be skateboarding around. You can't skateboard during. The, actually, I do know this. You can't skateboard. Uh, every single skateboard clip in Japan, not every single, but a good chunk of them. If you try to street skate, they're very, very. Uh, they only let you do on a hoverboard. So yeah, well, they, they, they don't want you to. Yeah, you basically you get five stars. The cops, uh, you can like you get your board taken away, stuff like that. Yeah. Every single street clip is filmed at like nighttime. The uh, one one thing about Japan, their culture that is pretty interesting is I, I guess it's very customary over there that normally it's a uh, it's frowned upon when you break the laws of Japan. Really? Yeah. Where here, it's not, you're not so much supposed to do illegal things that break the law. It's more than hmm. just a recommendation there. It's part of their culture. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cultural difference where you yeah. can actually go. You can actually go to prison for breaking laws. And they're Jap- really, yeah, yeah. And what kind of ma- backwards country is this? I've good never manners seen. are usually good manners are usually smiled upon. Yes, what instead the of frowned hell? upon. We're here. The pe- the mild mannered are actually some of the lowest people in our society. Yeah, mm. like us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, beaten down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're downtrodden. Burned to a crisp. We're completely downtrodden. Do they have jails in Japan? No. Do they have food in Japan? They do, but they don't eat that much of it. Huh. And it's considered respectful to um, enjoy your food. Mm. Yeah, and you don't really Ooh. house it. You're supposed to show your respect. Is it respectful respect. to burp in Japan? I think it's very disrespectful. I can't... Um, uh, is, which, wh- I, I saw a they video... Always say, you know, I always remember hearing in elementary school, you know, and, and is, I don't know if I remember if it's Japan or China or what, you're supposed to burp after you eat because it really? shows respect. You're thinking of you're, Shrek. Yeah, yeah, that's you, Shrek. Never Neverland. That was one of those. But or you know, you know never, when you hear one of those facts about an Asian country when you're in uh, elementary school, and you don't know if it's. You true know, or speaking not. of of uh, an food adult. and customs, there there is a in Germany. It's apparently very disrespectful to get a to go box because you couldn't finish your food. Is that true? Yeah, 
That's what my German That's... teacher told me in high school is that if you like ask for a to go box, they'll give it to you, but it's like fucking Americans. Americans is not how they would say eat it. Their food. No, like if you don't, if no, you don't, don't eat giant portions of like sausage and not pretzels that, not stuff? that much though. Not I mean, if you go to the re- if you go to the restaurant and you overeat, or I guess, or you like uh, over order, over order, that's considered uh, very rude because you come from a country where you get a burger with four stacks uh-huh. on it, exactly, stuffed patties and and fillings. But it's also rude to tip. Why well, never under? Why is it rude? The to thing tip about I don't I just think tip, it's, I think it's fuck? I think it's not it's free right. money. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I think that maybe it is rude, but they figured out that they tell you when you're a tourist in Europe what they say to you is they're like, now it's not it's not customary to tip here, but um, if you want to, you can. That's every place they're like. I don't oh, understand. But if you want to leave them a little extra money, I don't understand yeah. how that could be nah. possibly. Nah. How could that possibly be construed as rude that I'm giving you extra money? Yeah. Yeah. How fucking stupid are these Europeans that they think that that's wrong? Every single European. They country. also, if when you do leave them a tip, or in Ireland we left, if we left people a tip, which we did a few times. I mean, you're, I think you're supposed to tip a bartender, maybe I can't remember. But when we left people tip, they're like, "Oh my god, thank you." It's like chill. I get hate the that fuck out shit. of my face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> blow, blow. You got danger close to my face. I can't see with these sunglasses. Yeah, wait. <laughs> You got real, real close. These sunglasses are fly. I felt, I felt like, uh, I felt a whiff of your. You finger. think these are fly? You got a whiff of oh, my finger. He has, aren't he has finger pit smell? You got. You need finger deodorant. Yeah, you got to get in I've those been, webs. My body's been smelling really bad lately. Yeah, what's going on? Because he's, he's jacking off I've to having, Nerd versus Thug. And I didn't jack off to Nerd sweating. versus Thug. No, he said earlier he's he thought he was ruining much. the mood, so he couldn't do it. I, it was too funny. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to. That's why that that ad that always comes up on porn that's like. This is not a dating website. You need to fuck ugly old grannies. You need a fucking old woman. Yeah. If you reject someone's... What, is, <laughs> what are the lyrics? You need. You will have to the fuck lyrics. ugly grannies. If you reject <laughs> something, so, someone sexually, you will be banned from the website. Huh. It's a really good ad. But I'm, if that comes I'm not, up... I'm not familiar with it. I thought you were joking. No, it's real. Oh. And I, show, I talked to three people about it last night who all said they had seen it too. Wow. And somebody actually had a screen recording of it on their phone <laughs> when I brought it up. <laughs> and I was like, yep, that's the one, man. That is a funny fucking ad. And yeah. let me tell you what. These grannies, not that so many grannies are hot. These grannies are especially ugly. They have freckles. Fre- no, liver spots, you mean? Liver spots, yeah. old liver spots. I can't like, wait uh, to have liver spots. Yeah, you look good. Morgan with some Freeman's spots. got them. Right? I'm gonna get some good ass liver no, spots. No, he has freckles. I know for sure. He's got freckles. He's got normal freckles. I think I heard somebody say he has liver spots one time. Are and people I just still mad at him just because he's dating his daughter? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, something's up with the Freemans. Yeah, <laughs> in the reverse way. Well, we actually we don't well, know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know who started it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Morgan's finishing it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> is it his? Is it like a Sun Yi thing? I think it's. It was his stepdaughter, oh, but not well, a, not yeah. adopted daughter oh, like okay. Sun Um, speaking of Sun Yi, on Friday I went to this this party with my friend. It was like this like a uh, this event thing. It's like three a.m. It's like a bunch of fucking it's some like um like stupid exclusive like fucking. <laughs> Stupid exclusive, exclusive, like VIP fucking bullshit. Um, it was at this this like club thing where they have a pool in the middle of the room, like a little like bathtub. And we convinced this dude that Woody Allen was there <laughs> at like two in the morning. <laughs> <Bruh>. And <laughs> I thought this story is funny. I thought this was really funny. You convinced, oh my God. You convinced him. We oh. convinced him that Woody Allen was there with Soon Yi. Uh-huh. And that he was sitting by the crepe station. There was a crepe they station. Had crepe, uh, they had a crepe station, and it was three in the morning. This guy went over and looked and then came back and was like, he's not there. And we were like, oh, yeah, no, I think him and Soon Yi were t- really tired. That's got to be... They're tired. Maybe one it, of the most incredible things I've ever heard in my it life. It was really funny. I think you just should have seen the guy we told. Well, were you under you had the, to were be you there, under man. the influence of alcohol? I was actually was it, under you said the it was influence of alcohol. So you had and drugs. so you had a little you were a bit slap happy. I was a little bit slap happy. <laughs> well, I think that maybe I regret telling this story now because everyone is gonna make fun of me. Well now it just you basically just 
the punchline was not all there. I'm going to be no. honest with you. So it really it was just this a story really about annoying. You being a, you're a socialite. Is it what was. I was. Yes, I was at an annoying thing for Fashion Week because of my friend. Oh, it's for fashion. I think your fashion's weak. Yes. <laughs> but I think fascism's weak, and it's going to lose yes. to us. Yeah, mm-hmm. us strong socialists. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, I can save. I can save that by uh-huh. saying that there was something actually funny that happened, happened before this, which I showed you the video, oh, but I don't wait, know if yes, I showed it. Yes, this actually him. does save it. The, okay, so before we went there, we went be- to this other bar because our friend was DJing, and. We were outside having a cheeky cigarette, and a little boy at this was at midnight. <laughs> a little boy <laughs> ran up to to me and my friend Rupert and screamed at us. Then held out a box of candy and went cash app. And we had we're Rupert's from Australia. He's not gonna fucking he, he can't what, use any of that. He, what'd you buy? We didn't have any cash. We were gonna pay him. But we didn't. Somebody else gave him twenty dollars to scare every single person <laughs> that walked by. <laughs> so all these people were leaving this club, and this little boy is hiding in like uh, the outdoor seating of a restaurant that's directly next door. Uh huh. Just running up and grabbing people and going. Ah! <laughs> See, I watched the video that you showed because you took a video of, of him doing it to somebody. And I, w- I realize that's my biggest nightmare because I think my instant reaction I is would punch. Him. My there instant reaction, and I, I, before I even realize it's a kid, yeah, I would I'm push swinging. Yeah, there was sure, somebody, sure. there were, I Easily. didn't record the other, the, this person, but somebody went up to like, he jumped out at the guy. <laughs> wait, that's, that's, that's his so scream? so funny. Yeah, wait, just hold the sound up. Yeah. Just listen to his scream when he startles him. He did this to somebody and the guy went, kid, fuck you. <laughs> and started. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would so do. Angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was the uh, only. That was the funny story. I should have told kid, that one. That kid is poor, guys. <laughs> that kid needs that money badly. Well, he that, made a lot of so money. Funny, it's so funny to take the twenty dollars and be like. Oh. I guess I have to do this. No, all he, night was, now. he was just run away. He yeah, was you happy got the to money, do it. man. He yeah. was happy to do it, and also I guess he, I has noticed, ex- he has a shield. You can say, "No, that guy paid me to do it." Yeah, that too. But also, I noticed he, the the, as soon as he like scared me and Rupert and showed the the thing, he had two pieces of candy left. He was doing good that night. He cleaned up. Oh my he only had God. two pieces. How do you know he didn't start with two pieces? How do you know he didn't eat the candy? And he, that's why he was scaring that's people. Good, he had a sugar rush. That's a good ass point. I have a bit of a sugar rush right now because I ate pineapple and had an electrolyte. Yeah, that's a good. I have a little a bit of a combo. sugar rush off of my coffee from this morning. My that black, is my a black different coffee. kind of rush. That yeah. is a black drink rush. It's a sugar rush. I, I did. Um, I woke up very early because my cat woke me up. He bit me to feed him and I stayed up and I had both a Celsius or no a prime and a couple squirts of pizzazz. I saw you spraying your drugs. You yeah. squirted pizzazz your in your Yeah, that is so I you know I've been tempted sometimes when you're not here and I'm at the office and I see the pizzazz thing. Oh, that's out completely. I was oh, really? I was squirting the remnants of it cuz I knew that I needed to be on my top of my game today. Mhm. Mm. And uh you and know I, and I was I told this amazing story about a funny joke that I <laughs> that I told. To, you know what you need to do with your stories, I need to man? go to a storytelling class. Let me let me let me let me this is the version of the story okay. you should have told. Yeah. Okay, so we we're at this party, Fashion Week. Uh-huh. It was hella dope. You are my sound friends. way cooler <laughs> and, <laughs> and, yes, and dude, more exclusive. So we awesome. were beat, but we no. were beatboxing and b-boying in the corner. Oh, that sounds fire! And this guy, this chump, pulls up. Chud. This chud pulls up and is like, "Is there anyone cool at the party?" And uh, and I'm like, "I, Patrick, I'm like, yo, fam, it ain't like that, but." <laughs> There is one cat over there by the punch. Uh huh. His oh. name's Woody Allen. Maybe you heard of him. Oh. And he's here with Soon Yi. You sound then this, so fucking This sick. guy goes over. He sashays over <laughs> to the yep. punch bowl. This person would have been and a And Woody sashayer. Allen was there and he was fucking Soon Yi on the table. Damn. Wow. See, that's how you tell a story. Uh-huh. 
see, the problem is, and then the problem later, is I and just then don't ten minutes later, you go, I was lying. Well, yeah. you just got too into you get whenever you tell stories like this, I get you, too you, into the details. You add too many details that make it sound really annoying. Yeah, of like, well, I was at this exclusive party at three a.m. at Fashion Week. I know. Week. I I said that as soon as I said that, I was like, who the fuck am I to say that? Why did I say that? Yeah, you are not. You are nothing. I was yeah. at a more exclusive party that night. I literally, I as soon as the words left my mouth, I was like, "If I, I should kill myself." You know what? Kill yourself. You I know what party I was a part of completely. that night? You're not beyond saving. I don't think I'm beyond saving, but you're Beyonce. I, it could, it could get there. You think you could get to the point where you're, you can't be saved? I think so. I think it could get there where it's just over. There's nothing. There's nothing there's I only, can there's do. One way out. Every single one of the fans of the show turns on me, and you two secretly resent me and don't tell me. I have dreams about this. A lot I already resent you so can much I, can for, I for can going I, to exclusive parties. Can I tell yeah. my joke Dude, about my exclusive parties? I, party, I have bro. dreams about this. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say this, and then you can okay. tell me about that. I have dreams about this because when I before I go to bed, I watch all of the I like like everyone like you guys turning on me and like everyone <laughs> hating me a lot. I have tr- nightmares about this because I but when I before I go to bed, I will watch the too lazy to try Burt Kreischer videos. <laughs> And I'm like, you think you'll be Bert? What if I end up like that? What if like every single person hates well, that's my guts? Ten years down the line, yeah. yeah no, there's no. A, you got a while. Once, once I write my machine, bro, it's yeah. over. Patrick, once you figure out your machine, Patrick, once I figure I, out my I, machine. I, I is love you and over. I appreciate you, and, yeah. I, and I like the You're fact you, that brother. you are unapologetically you. I've had so many nightmares about that <laughs> because it's 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 boiling in my brain like. I'm I'm gonna be Bert, dude. Maybe, maybe <laughs> I'm you're gonna be the machine. But maybe you're just Bert's becoming successful. too. You're just becoming too cool for me and Cameron. I think so. Yeah, I think one day, I'm, guys. I think, Wait, yeah. you think you're becoming too cool? Let me tell my thing now. Yeah, I was I was part of an exclusive party that night. You know who was there? Four people: me, yeah. a rogue, a cleric, and a wizard. Damn. Baldur's Gate three all night. Holy shit, that is exclusive as fuck. But it's also kind of nerdy. Yeah, maybe a little. See, too he didn't nerdy. go to. You're kind of like geek chic though. <laughs> Say yeet chic. You're kind of like geek chic though. Oh, geek chic. Yeet. Yeah. <laughs> that yeet. guy's that guy's making some bad music. Guys. Yeet. You think yeet makes bad music? That's yeah. Jubio's favorite artist. That's Jubio. I, I know. Jubio, defend yourself. Jubio is a 50 year old Chill. guy from defend Mexico. <laughs> who, he only listens to TikTok sounds. Jubio, yeah, do you like that's Alec? Do you like you Alex? Do. Do. No, you do listen to that. His shit. favorite song is "I'm Feeling Lonely." <laughs> That's not true. He listens to that. That's he, not true. That's you know his what alarm song? clock. That's why he's in such a jolly mood every You know morning. what song that... He listens to this song. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I do. So the the Plex has your music on it, and I'll accidentally... I'll go down. I'll go to watch a, a film, maybe. <laughs> uh, you know, the other night I watched Network. Nice. And uh, But I clicked on the music, and I saw that all of the stuff on there was like Yeet and Joey and Cemetery and stuff like that. And Jubio, you're pushing fifty. <laughs> you can't be listening to this little. I don't music. have, and I don't have any cemetery or joy in that in that shit. You are completely lying. You're pushing, yeah, we're lying. But you're we're lashing out. Jubio, you were born in 1970. <laughs> you were born during the Eisenhower administration. You can't be listening to the kid Leroy. That is a wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> okay. It'd be so funny if we just never talked about it, but like Jubio, it's like. Like really fucking <laughs> really old. old. <laughs> yeah. He maybe he fakes his birth certificate like Manute Bowl. Maybe. Yeah. It's possible. Very um, possible. Guys, we have been talking about exclusivity <laughs> and different parties. And mm-hmm. what is more exclusive? <laughs> what is more exclusive <laughs> than what? Than I need to getting learn abducted my by an alien. I need to learn my choices of words better. Play the sound. Getting abducted by an alien. From another world. What? We I can't. Th- I think we kind of abandoned the secret alien costumes thing. What are you or talking about? Or the identity about? protection thing. But I, but my identity is fucking okay. protected. Yeah, here, I'm gonna put my hat low. That's my why, identity that's is protected Cameron's, the whole time. That's why Cameron's been so on one this We're whole episode. We're about to episode. spit truth, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna split. Uh, forks with you. We could, <laughs> we, forks we could get killed for doing this episode. Hundred percent. Yeah, this is a Hold lot on, of let private me, info. Let me dis- let me disguise your voice real quick. Please, Caleb. please, please. Okay. <laughs> so imagine this. 
You are in a, your bed late at night. You're falling asleep. The, they're counting your sheep. You're at 99 out of 100. This is normally where you would fall asleep. That is, you say, 100. Who should come and be? Who should burst through your closet door? He was there the whole time. Your, your suspicions from childhood were correct. There was an alien in your closet. He uses a beam of green to put you in a machine where he looks at your teen thing. Your teenaged? Your teen, yeah, you're a teenager, and that he looks at your teen so thing. Worse. The alien, the alien is looking at your teen. He thing? looks at your teeny teen thing. Is it teen? Are you saying it's teeny or it's teenage? He looks at your tween thing. I'm a tween now. You're back to being a tween, and you've been abducted, abducted by an alien. And they are looking into your stink, and your thing is is green. Guys, it's an alien episode. Here's uh, some things I found. I just looked at. It was honestly we were talking about. It was surprisingly hard to find. Uh, yeah, it was actually really, really hard. The to problem find with the good finding alien yeah, UFO stuff. and alien sightings is none of the people, are, none of the stuff is funny. Nobody and, ever yeah. puts any funny ones. And when you do look this stuff up, if you look up what I was looking up. About Arcturians, right? Obama, a famous Arcturian shapeshifter. Um, you have to click the CAPTCHA thing on Google. And you don't know how to do that. No. no you can't I have to had. I was waiting for you guys to come into the office because I was sitting. You? Yeah, I'm sitting there. I'm like, what's a fire hydrant? That's tough. Well, it's also tough because you don't know, is the little corner still a fire exactly. hydrant? Exactly. Yeah, right. Uh, stories of aliens killing people, which I've never heard this before but i clicked it because the guy's name is am i crazy or not <laughs> have you heard of any stories of aliens killing people and this guy says no i think or he's the uh, some dr Wu said i know of only one instance uh-huh. in south america or central america but can't recall the country apparently the man had been partially stripped of skin i don't recall why they thought it was alien connected oh. regarding beckley he is someone they were talking about he's known for sens- sensationalizing ufo tales blah 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 this guy says, no, I think I remember that one. Some guy in South America saw a UFO and went to get a closer look, then got hit with a beam of light, and his skin started falling off, and he died. Wow. I remember that, too. I, this was the biggest news story ever. Yeah. yeah. And this... Uh, that was Dr. Dr. Wu. The last the, uh, reply on this thread is this guy say, my own experiences okay. is that the reptilian slash lizard humanoids I'm dealing with seems to eat my clones <laughs> when the need for them are up after a soul abduction is completed. Mm-hmm. That happened in March, July, August, and September this year. They probably did that in June too, but I don't know because I slash my soul, cut the contact with the clone on my own and probably in early stage of the abduction. I'm still a little baffled how I could do that though. <laughs> so long they don't eat me, my main body, so I'm fine, I guess. That's my main Dyxel. body. Diaxel. Oh, well, yeah. Who is clones. curious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got clones. He was saying that. So this guy has clones all over the world that yeah. have been being abducted by reptilian slash lizard humanoids. Uh, but that his main body is fine. He's baffled how he's doing this. I guess that's a good explanation on why there, nobody's like, well, why is there so many of this guy? It's because they eat the clones. True. Uh, my journey to find out who or what I am by Mark Antony. Wow, rings Holy a bell. Maybe it's shit. the real Mark Antony. J-Lo's man. ex-husband. J-Lo's ex-husband. Hello. I had the craziest year of my life and found out I'm the biggest secret <laughs> in the world. First thing first, I was born a Pieces in 1969. <laughs> that makes me a earth rooster fish, the creator. Uh-huh. Both of my grandfathers are special men. <laughs> Joseph <laughs> Wait, John. mine too. Yeah, of course. My special big guys. My grand, my grandfathers are pieces of shit. Joseph John Rochefort. He ran the magic program for the U.S. Navy that broke the Japanese codes in WW2. His nickname was Merlin, and he remembers everything he see and heard, and the greatest puzzle solver in history. Whoa. Elf. He looks like a elf, as my father and me when I was younger. Super skinny head with large sticking out ears. Ray Bruce. That comes from a long line of cunning folks that is famous for miracle healing. The rumor is that makes him an angel alien. My wow. mother and father both didn't get sick and can heal miracle fast. Light and dark angel. Oh, wait. Get Ray, sick from Ray what? Bruce. Rodney Bruce. Who dat? Oh, my God. The leader of the Illuminati. The leader you of the Illuminati. Shit. Yeah, I was there who it. we contacted, the master. I've been talking to him since then, actually. Oh, yeah. Wait, I've actually, can you, once he's done with this, can yeah, you pull I'll re- up I'll some of those? An, I'll give you a quick text, update yeah? once he's done with this. Okay. I've been making. Whoops. I've been making life from day one paragenesis way, or like Zeus does. I just look at you, and you have a baby in a couple weeks. <laughs> I don't die. 
I don't remember my dreams, but when woken up in a dream, I'm lost for about 30 to 60 minutes because I don't know where I am or what is real. The dream I was pulled out of felt real. I knew about my miracle healing because it runs in my family. I just found out I was being used by the reptiles to make them babies and that they've been blocking my memory and controlling me. This Halloween at a bar party, a drunk reptile <laughs> told me what I was doing in their bar. I'm an angel and they hate me, but respect me. 30 minutes later, I heard crazy screaming coming from the girl's bathroom. A woman who kissed me started to lay eggs. Before that, they was staying close to me and feeding off my life energy. But all of a sudden, they distanced themselves from me. And I heard whispers saying, he is an archangel. He's an archangel. He's an archangel. <laughs> After that, the Lord Reptile at Capo Beach Church told me I was God. He only told me because I healed him of COVID in less than a week. Whoa. The reptile aliens are in charge of Calvary Chapel Church, Saddleback Church, and Mariners, and they are brainwashing the church going humans and taking over their bodies during baptism. You have to assume, yeah. Yeah. Christianity is reptile religion. Mm -hmm. Facts. Kind of cool, kind of like... Kind of some Hitchens shit. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It looks like the Freemasons are in charge of the reptile souls to make sure they're not lost and put into a new human body. LDS church, that happens if a male at 18 decided to become an elder. His human life ends when they put the snake into them. Whoa. It looks like I'm the 26,000 end of the era cycle creator of aliens, animals, and humans. Birds and fish go sex crazy <laughs> around me. <laughs> That's, my That's my favorite line of this. Birds and fish go sex crazy around me, as well as younger aliens. It looks like there is a new alien in play. Big eyes, owls. They fight with their minds, oh and they don't God. like it when I look straight into their eyes and I can't touch my mind. I'm told my alien race is a shapeshifter but looks like a very tall roadrunner, <laughs> rooster god, the creator alien. I look different to different people. God or the best-looking male or female you like. Whoa. My race conquer time and space. I think I'm the firstborn, father of humans and younger alien races. I need help to understand all of this because they see me, but I don't see them. Most of them don't know I'm the first ancient-born aliens. They just see me as an angel, as humans do. Wow. Rooster God, the creator alien. That's sounds from Jimmy like, Neutron. That sounds like one of those like, oh, yeah, like tertiary Wu-Tang Clan members. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, oh yeah, that's that's, that's Rooster God, the the, a, yeah. the creator alien. He and that was sounds like, like a ghost face line. Yeah, birds yeah. and fish go sex crazy <laughs> around yeah. me. <laughs> it's like that uh, Wu Tang affiliated guy that like chopped off his dick and jumped off a building or whatever. Oh, I forgot that guy. I don't remember his name. Is that what he did? I don't remember what he did. Uh, did he oh, get? Um, did he? Was he hung by his? His balls off a of, uh, six story building? Was he? Did I don't think that's true. Man. Did they? Smash his balls. I think with his a balls got bat? cut off in a way or something. Did they heat up? He got a rusty castrated or some and... shit. No, they didn't do. Yeah, I heard it went. Tss. It probably yeah. went tss if that happened, but it didn't. Did they lay his nuts on a dresser? Well, this was kind of the only interesting thing I found. So then I just do yeah. what you do when you want to find some cool stuff, and you just go to go to India forums, <laughs> uh, which has just got all of. It's just a, a forum in India where you can talk about TV, movies, and digital. And this digital, is, yeah, which I didn't oh. really delve into the digital. They did have a they one had, day we will. They had a bunch we'll of sections, uh, but the main sections was called the Entertain Cave, where you can talk about movies and TV. That's pretty cool. It's a good name too. But they have a paranormal section, alien abductions. Do you believe? Watch. I believe in aliens. This is Monar, <laughs> but not sure if they abduct. I prefer to imagine them more human rather than any creepy looking sloppy creature. <laughs> Which is a pretty scary idea. Creepy looking sloppy. sloppy, Creepy looking sloppy creature. A sloppy, scary, slobbery creature is not what you want to see when you open up a UFO alien ship. Aliens could find humans too barbaric (laughs) with an overfondness for wars. Pink says E.T. was the best alien. Well, alien. Yeah, a little Brian Jordan Alvarez Uh type of uh, way of talking. Uh This welt, this alien. Is seriously going to TJ Mack, guys. Last I heard. Yeah. And wait, is that the end? Yep, that's the end of mine, guys. Wow. Wow. It was nice. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Pat, you want to go next? Sure. All right. Well, this one, this is, um, well, guess what? <laughs> I couldn't find much, but I saw an alien last night. <laughs> Cameron and Caleb told me to write about an alien that I saw. <laughs> I gave you a book report. They gave me a book report, because so I said, did it. Guys, there's no nobody's ever said anything funny about aliens on the internet. Mm-mm. And we no. said, okay, well, then you could be the first. Well, 
this is an alien that I saw. Last night I was asleep in my bed, usually sleep on my back, but this night I slept on my side because I was using my phone. And when I look up, I saw the strangest thing I think I have ever seen. You want to click play on that? You put a video in. <laughs> okay, so describe this video. It's a, a one-eyed green <laughs> oh my alien. God. That you I saw this shit. I saw, saw this? this in my bedroom last night. What the fuck? This is terrifying. Yeah. Ew. Oh, this is a slop. A sloppy alien. This is a creepy uh, that looking, is a sloppy, creepy looking, looking sloppy green alien. I understand alien. now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh god. And, and then I found this video. It's another vi another video. Yeah. Oh, this is the same. It's video. The same video, man. No. <laughs> what the hell is this? Video. Called what? I want to have sex with an alien. Is that yeah. you? How Somebody long? We're in the same in. shirt as you. Uh, on. How long is this video? How's it going, everybody? <laughs> My name is Scorpiona. Not Scorpiona. Today, I'm going to be talking about wanting to have sex with an alien. Okay. Can you turn it up a little bit, Jubio? On the video? Please? Please come to where I live and kidnap me and let's have sex in your spaceship. I would love that. No. You don't get to hide your identity for this. So you need to show feels good. who's doing this. But I heard an alien, their pussy is always drenched <laughs> wet. That thing is soaked. So, I want the wettest pussy ever. <laughs> Comic book guy. An alien pussy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I want an alien to come take me to your spaceship and do things to me that you have never done before. I think you get the gist of it. You know, he yeah, wants an he alien. Wants it's a guy you. wearing a real tree jacket and he's got like, He's got a lot of other videos where he wears a he's Jason got like a Voorhees Bioshock mask. Shock uh, mask it's on. Creepy doll type mask. Yeah. yeah. And he's saying that aliens have the wettest pussies in the world. Uh -huh. yeah. Um or yeah. in, in the universe, I guess. Yeah, um, the galaxy maybe. I'm gonna because say we don't know. I really whiffed the slideshow portion, but I think I made up for it by finding this video with 77 <laughs> views. Yeah, I think I think I'll, I'll be watching a lot of this guy. I think I'll stuff. be watching a lot of Scorpions videos. Yeah, Scorpions, good name, mm -hmm. alien name. Maybe he's an alien with a face I like think, that. I think that he's an alien. Face like that, he could be. True. I don't think that's his real face, though, Cameron. Uh, it looks like his real face to me. I mean, it's hard to see what these. It kind of looks like a cherub. Shades. But, um, all right, we go to the next. Let's get Cameron's thing show open. here and let's we get this guy off the screen and not. Yeah, we don't no, want to hear I, about I an like alien's him. pussy. Anymore. Well, you, clearly you did because we, you wanted everyone to hear yeah, about it. You made us watch that. I was trying to find stuff about so, um, I was trying to find a forum of like people who are into like ovipositors and stuff and like uh -huh. uh, exophilics. I was trying to find Obvious an exophilic forum. Oh, exophilic. That's a good word. Um, or exophilia. Right. And exo exophilic is like when a, a, a mosquito, or it's like a, mos like how a mosquito. That's a mosquito? It's like or an exophilic what? is like a, an organism that lives off of like human, like eating like blood and like stuff. Like a parasite? That, I, I looked up exophilic forum because I thought that would be like exophilia. Exophile. I should have looked up exophile. For. I guess, yeah. Damn uh, it. Maybe I would have found something. But I was Zeno. looking for like people talk, doing like reviews for ovipositors and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, sitting but, on it. Sitting but on it, all I could find, cock. all I could find for ovipositor stuff was uh, what is an fish ovipositor? forums what, where people yeah, are what saying that, eggs out of yeah, oh, snap. where they're they're <laughs> saying their fish accidentally Holy prolapsed. Oh, their, 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 their fish prolapsed. Yeah, I found a bunch oh, of fish God. prolapsed <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
This is the worst thing ever, man. This um, we're getting nasty on this app. This one's really on another level, but I'm gonna bring it back to the wholesome stuff. Okay, I love wholesome ass. So memes. this is a website I found called Taken by the Grey's Abductions. Um, Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind. This is a guy who's just written about uh, all of his experiences with aliens. He's seen a lot of spaceships, okay. mostly spaceships more than aliens throughout his... But he's seen some greys, alien greys, throughout his life. And he just kind of writes about them on his blog. So uh, most of them aren't very funny. This one's just funny. There was a technical accident. Well, I think that they're trying to shut us they down. Literally they trying to shut us down. they literally so tried to shut us down. But we Out of nowhere, stopped. if we, we could get some stopped. static added mm -hmm. to splice those two together, I think That'd that would be, be appropriate. I think, and I think that they will add static over the entire episode, so it's on here. Probably, yes. This um, shit is definitely getting demonetized. Monetized. Yes. yes. So here's what this guy saw. Here's one of this guy's sightings of a UFO okay. taken by the Greys. Um, taken by the Greys. Here, will you refocus the window? <laughs> taken by the Greys. <laughs> taken by the Greys. Taken by the Greys. Okay, thank you. All right. I Backward. Okay. Sorry. Backward C-shaped object. It was August 27th, 2005 at around 7.30 p.m. The sky was clear and there was still much light. We had just entered Manitoba after making a delivery for a friend into Ontario. So we were coming back with a semi-tractor empty and heading west. It was then that I noticed a backwards white C in the sky off to the north a bit. Oh my God. But not too far. It was more above than north. First of all, I'm just thinking, what the fuck could that be? Backwards mm -hmm. white C. In the sky. Come. I asked my buddy who was driving, do you see that? He said, yes. It's I juicy. then asked him, what do you think it is? He said, I don't know. Wait, can you go back to oh. this image? This image is not mine, but similar in appearance. Oh, God. Oh, God. Because what he saw was backwards. What was, what was his name again? Taken by the Greys. Taken by the Greys. Okay. Taken by the Greys. Um, I was thinking that I, maybe he's a blood and like he saw a C oh, and got like really mad. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's, yeah, I guess it could be. There's no C in Taken by the Greys. The reds versus the blues versus the greys, man. <laughs> I think that they would unite. <laughs> I think the Crips and to Bloods would come Whitey. together to kill this gray. Definitely. Grady. I then had the opportunity to watch this object for about 45 minutes. It was as white as a jet contrail, and I thought, well, maybe that's it. But I soon realized that it was remaining in the backward C shape and not fading or changing. I know there are strong winds up there, and it should have dissolved away by now. It was traveling in a westerly direction, the same as us. I wasn't sure, but after watching it for a little while, I realized it was moving. We were doing around 110 kilometers per hour, as I took note, Holy and shit, yet the speed. object continued to pull away from us, and it was some distance up. It was not going any higher up in the sky. It was gaining ground on us, though. I then noticed a large jet airliner that was heading east. I watched the two, wondering what would happen when the two came closer together. The object seemed to actually pass right by the jet. I thought to myself, wow, I wonder if they saw it. They must have. For some time, I was racking my brain as I watched it continue to get further away, heading west. So let's 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 run through our, our evidence for what this is so okay. far. We see a white shape in the sky. Yeah. Uh -huh. Backwards C. It's up high in the sky, above. It's moving through the sky. Looks a little bit like a jet contrail. Mm -hmm. And it's able to pass right by a plane. Without them noticing even a little bit. Or maybe they did notice, but we don't know. But it was able to pass right by a plane. So here's this guy's theory on what this white shaped object in the sky could be. Okay. It couldn't be the moon. Not even close to the right place in the sky. No. And it didn't look like any moon I have ever seen. My buddy asked, could it be Venus? I said, no. It was way too big, and Venus is a bright object. Certainly not a C-shaped object that is as large as this was. I continued to watch it until it finally was too far west and went out of sight. And then he adds this picture. This was recorded in South Holy Korea. Holy fucking shit. I what could this be? A white object in the sky. What was it? Wait, it's a UFO, man. It's the only it's explanation, right? Yeah. Fucking I mean, if it looks like that, it is a UFO. Look, it even has like, it's clear that it's like, uh, it's, oh, and it's, it's from not YouTube. misty. Look. Like it has like a, a little reflective part where the sun is bouncing off of it like an apple. And yeah. it says YouTube in the corner. Look, someone was skywriting. True. Yeah. Oh, and they put that little YouTube there. And that's maybe yeah. it's supposed to be a copyright symbol for YouTube. Oh, okay. But they made it too big and backwards. Some ad for oh. YouTube. Circle. This is a silver play button, guys. Yeah. So then here's my other part. Uh, that's my sighting I have to show you guys. Mm -hmm. But then the other thing, I just want to talk about the news. Okay. Okay. Because okay. there's one website that I get all my news from, and this is the reason they're going to shut us down is because I am plugging this website right now. But I got to, listen, I got to make a note. Everybody should be getting their news from this website. This is where you're going to find the real news. Ancient Files. Whoa. 
Okay. Holy, Holy shit, man. fuck. This Look at the that. front page of Ancient Files today. French woman reveals she is a human alien hybrid video. Oh. Our history book teach us the ancient civilizations were not technologically advanced, but here's the evidence video. <laughs> so this is a new this is the news website that's telling you what you need to know. This is what's really going on, okay? Is there about us page? Ancient Files is a website dedicated to ancient history, ancient aliens, and ancient UFOs. We will try to provide daily interesting content about ancient aliens. So this is the hard-hitting journalism that they're covering up yep. in the mainstream. So here's some stories that they got on Ancient Files, okay? Uh, <gasps> family uh, finds baby alien creature with six arms in Texas. That Remind, could be, it, this okay, This is definitely no. the people who make skin goo. That could be a no, caterpillar. An that could be a I caterpillar. It could be a this caterpillar. Is That's just a regular ass caterpillar. I would caterpillar. recognize this photography style anyway. This is anywhere. This is the Etsy shop that sells baby skangoo. Why would it say baby alien yeah. if it was a toy? It's literally called baby. You called okay? Baby alien. Okay. It's a creature. Today's episode is about the truth, and you are sitting here and you are trying You're, to say yeah. that this is skangoo. This What's is, wrong with this you, man? You're cover- and this happened... You I, were covering I, up on your I, own. You're listen, completely covering okay, it up. Okay, if we Arcturian believe everything, though, we're, uh-huh. we're, uh, you have Easily to be a skeptic. Reptilian. You have to be a skeptic to, to You're be being a, a UFO. A UFO You're being I septic. am being a skeptic of all this stuff that I don't believe in. And that's, that's fair. That's a caterpillar. That's really fair, actually. Okay, this could be a caterpillar. And this took place on January 12th, 2023 is when this a was A caterpillar found. type alien. Wait, hold on. It took place in January... And it has six arms. <gasps> now, don't even, don't even get. Uh, I, there's going to be something interesting about the a dates here. A distraction. All I'm saying, dog. A distraction. That's that all I'm wasn't, saying. It was a distraction. January six was January a distraction 6th. from this. Or yes. Yeah. They honestly were both distracting from each other. There are two <laughs> distracting objects. Here's another news story. Strange floating spoon has been found on Mars. What is it exactly? January 14th, 2023. Take a look at this giant floating spoon and discover for yourself how bizarre the world really is. That it should be. say the, the Mars, I guess. That could be anything. That it's could a spoon, be. man. What do you mean? It could, look at the red circle around it. That could be, I mean, anything like, yeah, that could be like a Martian rover. But why would... That hovers, uh, guys, a hover rover. Why would rover? somebody put a spoon on the ground like this? They're done with their cereal. That's the, that's, the, that's the real strange thing about it. It's not on the ground. Why man. would they affix it's above it the to ground. a rock? It's if floating. It was a spoon. I mean, this just is not. No, a... scientists looked at the spoon. They said it can't be affixed to the rock. Yep. It, ha- it must well, be floating based on the physics of but Mars. But it's, it's attached at that at the end. No. Attached to Do what end? Do you see end? the red energy field around yeah, it? Yeah, look. It's got a red ball. That's Photoshop. No. Circle. Man. They don't have Photoshop on Mars. They don't have computers. I guess you're right. They can't do anything to create an image like this. Whatever. Here's another story. Interdimensional entities in form of fallen angels have returned, Russian scientists claim, and this happened on January 13th, 2023. And the Russians are... We all are, remember this from happening in 2023 in January. Yeah, the Russians oh, are, are like a race of alien that has commingled with society. Mm-hmm. The fallen angels have been defeated more than 5,000 years ago during the Great Revolution that destroyed the city-state known as Atlantis and has been recorded in the stories and religion as the Great Flood. President Vladimir Putin classified as a national threat any news related to a series of mysterious craters erupting in Siberia. At the same time, remember the Chelyabinsk meteor from 2013, which exploded with 30 times more energy than an atomic bomb. Finally, it seems that the U.S., together with Europe, is trying to demonize Putin and entangle Russia into a war in order to invade Siberia and get hold of an ancient defense system designed to protect our planet from these so-called fallen angels. Uh, that's, that's cut and dry. dry. Really what mainstream, uh, mainstream news? They're talking about the war. They talk about it every damn day. When have They're they talked once about the fallen angels? Or the Chelyabinsk meteor. They well, don't talk real. about it, man. I think 200 people got injured from that. Oh, really? But yeah. they don't talk about it anymore. Wow. Yeah, Why is like, nobody uh, still talking about this? The Chelyabinsk meteor. I mean, it's kind of crazy. There was a meteor that hit somewhere in Russia, like kind of a small town. And a, I don't think anyone died, but a bunch of people got really badly hurt. Yeah. Damn. I Here's another story <gasps> from January 12th, Wait. 2023. This ha- now, this happened on January 12th, 2023. Archaeologists were shocked to discover an ancient 3,000-year-old statue that looks like Michael Jackson. I'm a rock like Michael Jack. The Son. theory being that my Jackson went back in time to various eras and was immortalized by the ancient Egyptians and later by the painter. Like maybe he got a... The painter? The painter. Maybe he got a uh, uh, some kind of time disease. And, uh-huh. or, right. Or maybe he was going... That's, to- why he, that's why he was always trying to have sex with children because to them... <laughs> 
because he didn't understand time. He kind of he could True. see all of time laid out before him. Oh, he four he dimensional was being. molesting ninety eight year old men. He had no. It's yeah. just that nobody. There's no time. Right. There's no age. He lives in the fifth dimension. That's an actually really good point. Yeah, and people they they won't you won't hear about this on mainstream news. Here's another one. Ancient submerged pyramid was recently discovered in China. It was built before the ice age. And wow. this was discovered on January 12th, 2023, according Holy to ancient crap. files. And this is the guy who discovered it? Yep. And he also has a TV show, I think. He has a long upwards hair. Yeah. Yes. Here's another story from but ancient files. But a down-facing beard. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Most interesting. Yep. Oh, my God. Up and down hands. Weird iceberg <laughs> spotted in Antarctica. <laughs> and this weird iceberg was spotted in, you guessed it, January 12th, 2020. Holy oh, wow. I don't know if you guys remember all this stuff happening that day. I remember it because I read ancient files. This is just one day of news. Katy Perry <laughs> collapses on stage when MK Ultra mind control goes wrong. And this, I forgot to put the date here, but this was also on January 12th. I don't know if you remember this happening. But you know this what that MK stands for? Michael Kors. M- oh, she's a go. woman Madam, and they'd Madam be shopping. Katie. I put the date on this slide here. While performing on stage, the beautiful singer Katy Perry started acting weird with unexplained behavior. She even said to the public that she is feeling weird and she started to talk without a hint. Sources claim that it's not news the fact that Katy Perry is under the mind control process by MK Ultra. This incident seems to take place due to an error in this process. Wow. Yep. Do you think that could be the... the um the concert where Russell Brand told her that <laughs> she needs to follow. She over. wants yeah. a divorce. He wants a divorce from her minutes before she went on stage. I think that this was probably a different one. Okay, because she was really calm and collected during that. One. Ah, did her boobs flop out? Apparently, the MK. The reason they targeted her for MK Ultra is because of the size of her boobs. And really, they flop like a beagle's ear. Apparently, they put <laughs> electrodes on them to scan on them. Yeah, like they're they doing flop the out like a like a uh, bloodhound. Yeah, like the lips of a bloodhound. <laughs> yeah, because when I think of boobs, I think of, <laughs> I think of a dog's, dogs lips. Of dog, different dog body <laughs> well, there's parts. Two sides. Yeah. yeah, of boobs. Summoning <gasps> a dark force is the worst thing you could ever do. And who's January that? January twelfth, twenty twenty three. That is the devil. He That's looks, not the devil. That's not. a news story from January twelfth, twenty twenty three. Strange little being <laughs> was Whoa. spotted live during a soccer match, January twelfth, twenty twenty three. Holy fucking shit! This was all happening in January, guys. Open your eyes. That's what a little stick fuck, man. That's man. a strange little being. That's an XKCD character that <laughs> escaped and started being. doing science on a like soccer field. He has field. a pointed hat. Yeah, that could be a gnome. Strange case. Ancient pyramids around the world suddenly beaming energy to the sky, January twelfth, not my pyramid. 23. It was all the ancient pyramids. They made some well, experiments proving astral projection is actually real. Oh, January 12th, 2023. A teleported person caught on video is causing an accident in China. Still? January 12th, 2023. A strange fish with human face was filmed by a tourist I do remember that. in China. Me too. January 12th, 2023. Millions of giants will awaken <laughs> on Earth, January 12th, 2023. So these are some of the stories that are going on on the ancient files. Uh-huh. 7.6 meters January tall. January 12th, 2023. This is a fucking 20-foot giant, man. That's really scary. Keanu Reeves said, the Earth is a prison planet from which we can never escape. <laughs> Holy January shit. January 12th, 2023. All right? But what was the mainstream media reporting on January 12th? Because this all happened January 12th, 2023, but I'm willing to bet you remember only one or two of those things. Okay, uh-huh. tell me what was what they were covering it up with. What massive stories were being used to eclipse the actual news? Yeah. Because you need you, you need to be reading these alternative news sites to see what's really going on instead of this bullshit smoke screens that are probably made up stories. You know what I call CNN? What kind crap of, news network? What kind of bullshit was the communist news network and you MSNB see? communism? What were they sending? You want to see what they were reporting news. on January yeah. 12th, 2023? January 12th, 2023. Rick and Morty <laughs> co-creator Justin <laughs> no. Roiland faces domestic <laughs> violence charges. Rick and Morty co-creator Justin <laughs> Roiland facing domestic violence charges. January 12th, 2023. Dog starts house fire while eating cookies off kitchen counter video shows. January 12th, 2023. NBC News, Hollywood Reporter, New York Post, Los Angeles Times, Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Roiland facing felony. The truth is out there, y'all. Oh, wow, wow. Cameron. Wow. 
You have really gotten to the bottom of this story that yeah. they tried to take our dog out because uh, just because he, he liked it started aliens. a fire in the <laughs> just kitchen. He makes TV shows about aliens. <laughs> well, that guy too. But yeah, I was mostly talking about the cookie oh, dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but dude, Solar Opposites. I mean, this is it's, this is gospel. Whatever's um, on that show, I haven't watched it, but. It's all true, guys. It is all true. Mm-hmm. And look, right, I've seen guys like this they in covered the up neighborhood. Back to you. Yeah. Guys, stay curious. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Stay dangerous. And don't get murdered. <laughs> don't get murdered for what you believe. <laughs> guys, this has uh-huh. been another episode of Podcast uh-huh. About Liz. Next Monday, me and Patrick are going to be hosting Funny Moms uh, at uh, Come On Everybody in Brooklyn. Come uh-huh. through. We'll post a ticket link soon. Somebody uh-huh. will be there. Somebody might be doing the and worst somebody five might to be seven doing minutes of... Some of the best five to seven <laughs> minutes that you've seen in a very mm-hmm. long time. And he might be a third person at this table besides the other two names I already maybe. said. Maybe. You've maybe. Seen um, maybe two people at this table do stand up already, but there's one guy that you have. Maybe seen. one guy did stand up before either of the other two at this table and then quit because it was too awesome. And he was too good, guys. And um, one of these. But maybe he's making a triumphant maybe return. Maybe he's making his <laughs> huge return. Mm-hmm. You'll just have to come uh, and watch. What day is the shareholder meeting this month? And it. Uh, I'll check. I gotta check. Okay, he'll check. In the meantime, um, two weeks from now, the battle of the century. Oh yes, two combatants. You the you've been waiting to see them clash. They will. They will right here on YouTube.com. We can't slash spoil what it is. We, we don't even want to. Touch we should do that episode. Fucking, get fucking hyped. We should yeah. do that episode live, dude. Yes, <laughs> that's because, not a bad idea because the it it will blow pe- people. Won't even believe it if we just pre-record it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so that's coming, and you're going to be seeing a lot of teaser videos and posters for that, and you're going to be getting very hyped up and uh-huh. excited. Yep. And two months from now, I will be in the great city of Chicago opening for Girl God. Mm. And that's Shareholder 28th. 28th. Shareholders is on the 28th. So go ahead and subscribe on Patreon to the to the t- the executive producer tier if you would like to be part of the shareholder meetings, which are so fun. Mm-hmm. They are fun as a motherfucker. Um, Jeopardy. This Friday. Je- oh, and Jeopardy on Friday on the Twitch channel. Yeah. What time Jeopardy. is that? And keep your eyes uh, on the skies, folks. What time is that at? We'll figure it out. At some point. And also keep your eyes bye. in disguise. Uh huh. With the sunglasses. So nobody sees them. All right. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Shit. Guys, there is nobody worse than lawyers. Lawyers and blondes are at the very, mm-hmm. very bottom of my pyramid. Yep. He's not really blonde. He's got blonde like a dirty hair. blonde. I'm not blonde at all. He's got you guys only hair. think I'm blonde because I was Eminem in my life when you yeah, met me. You did true. have. Oh yeah, you don't. You're not blonde even a little bit. I'm no. not even I'm close at your to hair. blonde. You, no, you, you guys always say I'm hair. blonde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do I think of you as a beautiful blonde? I think of you as a beautiful blonde with big. My breasts. eyebrow is turning blonde. Yeah, that you. You should go to the doctor. That's vitiligo. That. Really? You got it late in life. All right. Here's here's my problem with lawyers. Okay. What? That's vitiligo, man. Oh, you might actually you have, have might actually have late in life vitiligo. What happened? Late in life, end of life vitiligo. Yeah. You might have your yeah, adult onset. I googled blondness and eyebrow, and there's no results. It says I'm you're Frank you. Ocean. Yeah. Is that, am I gonna get blonde <laughs> splotches on my skin? You I don't want to be blonde skinned. Yeah. You could, you have blonde vitiligo would not show up on your body. No. Not no. yours. You have whiteness. No, no, no. You, I don't think you have made a lot go at all. Now that I'm thinking about it, the what? thing with lawyers, mm-hmm. okay, is that they have invented. Have you been dealing with one lately? No, What's going on? No, maybe I should. I thought you were going to. Yeah, for no. our war for our trash oh, war. Oh, right. Yeah, guys, if you know of a lawyer who works completely free trash to help law. to help in trash law, <laughs> let <laughs> me know. <laughs> <laughs> because we have a trash lawsuit on our hands. We have a huge trash law problem. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna. Go have to the they Supreme been calling Court. you? No, they. I, they said they were gonna talk yeah. to me. And they There's never called so me. much that has happened in the past couple of weeks that we have not been together to talk about. I, I know. know it's very upsetting. It is very crazy. But here's I had a I, lobster roll. He and it was expensive. I bet market yeah. price. Yeah, I bet it was uh, close to twenty four dollars. <laughs> My mom's treat. Whoa. Apparently, wow. mother's treat, mother's treat, Mo- mother's treat, Teresa. <laughs> wow! Oh my God! No lobster roll, thing, mother's treat, mother, mother Teresa. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mother treats, mother treats, mother is uh, treats, mother treats, poorly. Poorly. treats you. mother treats you. That was mother easy. Treats you mother well. treats a kid poorly. Does not buy him any. Is snacks. it true that mother Teresa she is very sorely? Is it true that mother Teresa took all the blood out of people? Yes, and, and made them eat their Smelled own it? shit. She would make people see. She thought she was a scientist towards the end of her life. Is it true that she did experiments on twins? Yes. 